Thanks to a new feature that was introduced by Microsoft for the Advanced Warehouse mobile device, it's pretty easy to be in the middle of one operation now and then switch to do another operation. Like if you're in a picking screen, you wanna go look at a location inquiry screen and send data back and forth between those two screens. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple and, and extremely handy. So let's take a look at how we're gonna set that up. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna go into feature management, and make sure that warehouse app detours is turned on. It's probably turned on by default in your system, but we need to check that first. In order to set up our detour, we're gonna go into warehouse management, setup, mobile device, and mobile device steps. All right, so what I'm gonna do first here is I'm gonna look for our cycle count uh, menu step. So we're gonna look for count, and the, what it asks you is enter the quantity to be counted, and then I'm gonna add a config, step configuration to the cycle count guided menu. So we're going to select that and hit OK. Now when the screen loads, at the very bottom of the screen, there's available detours that we can add. We can add multiple detours here, but I'm going to hit Add, and we'll go ahead and add the item inquiry screen and go ahead and hit OK. That's going to add the detour. And the next thing we can do is select the fields we want to send. We can either select fields to send or receive. In this case, I'm going to send the item from the cycle count screen over to the item in the in the parts inquiry. I can send things back like license plates, for example, if I wanted to, I'm not gonna do that in this case. All right, so now that we've got that setup done, let's go and take a look at some work that I created earlier. So if we go under work and let's go into cycle counting and then open cycle count work, we can look and see some work that I generated previously. So let's hop in the mobile device and we're gonna go into the inventory menu, take a look at that cycle count guided that we set up and we've got item A0001, and then there's item inquiry button at the bottom. If we click that, it's gonna ask us to confirm the A0001. That's where it's put, passing that information across. Uh, in future releases, that will become automatic where it'll just automatically accept. So after watching this video, if you have questions on the basic setups of Advanced Warehouse, I skipped through a lot of different things here. Take a look at this series of videos here on, in this playlist. It's gonna kind of give you the basics of Advanced Warehouse and kind of help you out along there. Okay, so hope you found some value in this. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.